Climate change affects agriculture and the global food supply because it's adding an element of chaos to everything that we do. We're seeing quite a shortage of food in some areas and the seasons that we're used to and that we're confident in producing food in are changing. Some people say we only have 60 harvests left on the planet, which is an incredibly scary statistic when you think that if you combine this with the fact that the population is growing so much, we need to grow more food in the next 30 years than we have in the previous 10,000 that agriculture has existed. UK growers are directly experiencing the challenges that we will face with climate change this year, next year and for decades ahead. 72% of farmers are worried about growing their crops in the methods that they have today. Farmers are having to react more dynamically to changing weather and seasons and situations which are just less predictable than they were before. It leads to uncertainty in prices. The, the demand can go up and if the supply can't match it and go up as well, you're going to get big increases in price or lack of availability. In the UK, our behaviour as consumers is largely driven by the weather. But what that means is the off-takers can change their requirements for what they want to buy from the farmers same day. So what vertical farming can do is help adjust very last minute and put the control back in the hands of the farmers. More than ever, what we need just now is innovation and reliability within what we're doing. Vertical farming can enable countries to become less dependent on imports or pay a higher price for crops when they're in short supply. It provides farmers with a precision controlled environment capable of being deployed both in rural and urban settings. Vertical farms can drastically cut down the time needed to transport food from the farm to the retail store and finally our plates.